Colonel Yolanda Gore is the new Fort Meade Garrison Commander. We'll have more from the Colonel and the Change of Command Ceremony in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, cell phone reception is going to get better. A look at the school liaison program and the Garrison receives an Army Level Award. These stories and more, but first, Colonel Yolanda Gore took command of U.S. Army Garrison, Fort George G. Meade, in ceremonies this week at Club Meade. She's the first woman to lead the garrison in Fort Meade's 107-year history. She takes over for outgoing commander, Colonel Michael Sapp. It is those relationships outside and inside the fence line that make Fort Meade worthy of the great American defense community. Just one of five DOD communities worldwide to receive that honor last year. To our mission partners, thank you. And of course, at the center of it all is the U.S. Army Garrison, Fort George G. Meade. The nearly 650 employees keep this train on track. You are here each day making it happen. Sometimes you're holding it together with chewing gum and chicken wire. In the end, although we're not always able to keep it running smoothly, I know you are working to make it better for everyone every single day. Lastly, I want to acknowledge my predecessor, Colonel Sapp and Heather. Your leadership and visions have left an enduring mark on this garrison. And I'm committed to building upon the solid foundation you have established. As we move forward, I pledge to work tirelessly with determination and unity to ensure Fort Meade remains a premier installation and a beacon of excellence. We interviewed Colonel Gore for the latest episode of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified. You can find it just about anywhere you get your podcasts. In a related story, the reviewing officer for the change of command ceremony, Mr. Davis Tyndall, the director of Installation Management Command Sustainment, presented the garrison with the Army Superior Unit Award. If the Army looks at somebody like what we do, an Army garrison, an IDS structure that oversees the garrisons, to recognize us for that period of time, and this period of time was our reaction to COVID, how we managed the base and did our job through the COVID period. I think it's pretty awesome that the Army took time to recognize. So as long as there's a Fort Meade garrison, there's going to be a streamer on their colors for that period of time. Elsewhere, news that the entire community should appreciate cell phone reception is set to improve in the coming weeks. Over the last year, the Directorate of Public Works built a new cell tower on the south side of the Defense Information Systems Agency parking lot. Verizon and AT&T are on board. Baltimore Gas and Electric is expected to electrify the tower within the next two months. The new tower should be a big improvement in cell coverage and 5G service. Additionally, a second tower has been proposed. This one will be located in the Midway Commons housing area. Verizon has already signed on for the proposed tower. Stay tuned for any further developments. Meanwhile, with the start of the new school year just around the corner, the Military One Source YouTube channel has released a series of videos about the school liaison program. Fort Meade School Liaison, Meredith McCandless, is featured. I think the biggest struggle that military connected students have is just adapting quickly to the new expectations. How the school functions, the schedules, the courses that are offered are all very different. School liaisons offer an array of services to students, parents, installation leadership, schools, and the community. You can reach Fort Meade's liaison, Meredith McCandless, at 301-677-1227. In other news, the next Fort Meade Blood Drive is coming up Tuesday, September 3rd from 9 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. According to the Armed Services Blood Program, the drive comes when the nation's supply is critically low. There's been an overall 10% drop in donations since 2020. For more information and to find out if you're eligible to donate, go to health.mil slash militaryblood. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Timely threat reporting gives the authorities the edge they need to disrupt and possibly prevent an attack or incident of terrorism. If something doesn't look or sound right, report it right away. Law enforcement will investigate in coordination with the intelligence community and rapidly orchestrate prevention measures. Yes, the threat is real, but it can be overcome by empowering constant vigilance.